Uh, so I'm David Haradine, and I'm Sam Butler, and we're the artistic directors of a company called Fevered Sleep, uh, which is based in London, uh, in the UK. I'm Gabriella, and I'm nine years old, and I live in East Finchley, and I take the tube to the place which is here. I love dance and contemporary. And um, I watched videos of men and girls dance online that looked really fun. Um, and like, um, usually I only do dance with like um, girls because there aren't lots of um, boys in our dance school. And I wanted to have a chance to do it with a man as well. They don't explain a lot about what it's about, but I think it's about how um, men and girls can be like friends without it being weird or just um, judged, it can just be fine with, because women and girls are always like fine and um, they can always just talk with each other without people just giving them looks or something. But with men and girls, everybody thinks it's just a bit wrong and it's not correct when it actually is, it's fine. And we made a very deep commitment really quickly to working with children, working for, making work for children, collaborating with children, which, which exists still. And I guess, when was that? That was 2003? Yes. So we had about seven years, seven dark years in the desert of working <laughs> for adults, and then the remaining, or whatever that is, 15, 16 years. We've been still making work with and for adults because we're still interested in that, but also really centrally to our practice, making work with and for children. But I think that's part of the, the politics is that if, I mean, this never would have happened, but if we had yeah. decided to drop the work for adults, then our desire to, to make or to add value or to heighten the value of art for children, it, it wouldn't have been the same because it, it's us saying, this is our work for children, this is our um, work for adults, and they are of equal value. I think the dance is very um, creative, and we, um, the um, girls sometimes make up some of it as well, and sometimes we improvise the dance on the stage, so I think it's um, really creative, and they let us like be ourselves and do the kind of thing that we like to do through dance. Um, it feels like the company exists to make artworks that can start conversations between people, either literally start conversations or can get people thinking together differently or can be provocative enough to, 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 to kind of bring different people into very different points of view to have a disagreement with each other, that we somehow can facilitate all of that conversation, disagreement, debate, thinking. Uh, reflection through the work. Children don't really like to talk to adults because I think they think that they're just going to talk to them like babies but I don't think normally they don't so I think it's we we as children just have to we just have to ask them to be our friends we don't have to we don't have to force it, but we just have to like not be afraid that they're just gonna like just ruffle our hair and just like treat us like babies, like give us a warm tub of milk and like feed us or but it's just not like that. They're like friends. Of course. We also believe that children can gain a lot from engaging with art and performance. Otherwise, we wouldn't do what we do as our job. We'd go off and do something different. But I mean, I guess we think that art and performance has a function which is necessary in society for everyone, including for children. I think we feel particularly po political and a bit activist around it in relation to children because I think we worry that in the UK, increasingly, we're getting it really wrong when it comes to children. I think we definitely feel that art and culture and artistic experiences can fill a gap which exists in the education system here, um, which can really celebrate children as citizens and celebrate them as people, celebrate their knowledge and their rights, and their imaginations. 
some adults um, underestimate children like if they don't have a child of their own and like if like when they're older than the child they think that they can control the child and um, like they're higher up than the child and um, they have um, rights to control a child but um, they don't and I think that they just some adults just underestimate some children.